This is the Shampooey Century, a self-supported numbums ride. The Shampooey Century begins at Shampooey Park, the birthplace of our great state. For the first 13 miles, we head south on French Prairie along French Prairie Road. Our Shampooey Century route pretty much follows the Monster Cookie Metric Century route put on by the Salem Bicycle Club, except starting and ending in Shampooey Park. In addition, we add about another 35 miles on Howell Prairie, east of Salem. After about mile 13, we'll drop off French Prairie to the Willamette floodplain at Mission Bottom. You'll meander west and south on Mission Bottom, primarily on Mafaney and Wheatland Ferry Road. We'll briefly climb out of the floodplain back up the French Prairie before dropping into the floodplain again at Ravenna Road. After dropping back into Mission Bottom the second time, you'll again meander west, north, and then finally south on Windsor Island Road. After this second five mile excursion through Mission Bottom, you'll leave the farmland behind and enter the near neighborhood of Kaiser, just north of Salem. After this short suburban trek, you'll turn right onto River Road, which will become Commercial Street, a main Salem artery. After that, at about mile 31, you'll arrive at the state capitol for the mandatory photo op. The southwest portion of the century is complete. Now we head east, then north, to the halfway stop at Silverton, about 18 miles away. We'll travel a few miles through close-in Salem neighborhoods until we join State Street to head out of town through the Four Corners back to the beautiful farmland and nursery operations. At about mile 39, We'll turn left on Howe Prairie Road and start heading north on Howe Prairie. At about mile 42, we'll turn right and head east and then north, encountering a few rollers until we reach Cascade Highway. Along this stretch, we'll have some great views of the Cascade Mountains. From the Cascade Highway, it's about a two-mile trek past the Oregon Garden to the charming town of Silverton and lunch, in this case, at the Gallon House Pub. While we chose the Gallon House, there are numerous lunch options in the town of Silverton. After lunch, we'll head north for a few miles and then turn left at about mile 49 for more farmland sliding and gliding. From Hobart Road, we'll follow Gallon House Road north, crossing Evans Creek over a beautiful, nearly 100-year-old covered bridge. After Gallon House Road, we head west and then north to Hook Road. Then we'll cross the Pudding River on Saratoga Drive until we rejoin Howell Prairie Road. We 
did this right in early September during harvest time, so there was a lot of farm machinery on the road. At about mile 63, we'll skirt the east side of Salem until we reach Sunnyview Road. There, we'll head west back through Salem and then north to Kaiser Station and the last rest stop at mile 77, where we'll have some well-earned treats. After the final rest stop, we pass by Kaiser Stadium, the home of the Kaiser Volcanoes, a single-A short-season farm club. After that, we'll join River Road for the next seven miles until we reach St. Louis Road, where we'll head east for a stint and then back north along Manning and then Arbor Grove Road following the Willamette Valley Scenic Bikeway. The ride back is not completely flat. At about mile 92, we'll turn right on St. Paul Road where we'll have a drop and then climb first in and out of Wilms Reservoir and then Case Creek Reservoir before we turn left and head north on Case Road for our final nine mile push home. A quick crossing of Shampooie Creek, a short climb and we are there finishing a beautiful 105 mile tour of the Willamette Valley. Thanks for watching.